she will insist. Uh, let's see. You've got some of the characters who are who are crowding around you, or the big the peak the big people the people who all are uh, big hero nerds. Or so you got her. You've got a uh, red fox. Couple Any of relation the... to gray fox? No. All right, just checking. Uh, you've got. Let's see. Who else would be? Interested in this uh, accelerator, like I said, who is a drifter. I mean, part of it, I mean, you almost probably see almost <laughs> two accelerators because you're just like constantly buzzing around. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would assume uh, for characters with multiple powers, those with specifics like accelerator would be able to be faster than Elroy, even though they both have super speed. But because Elroy is more yeah. generalized in his powers. Yeah. Um. Somewhat. Yeah. Like. So he's. Uh, like, oh, you could have done some accelerator. You know. <laughs> like yeah, Accel accelerator is like just a speed. He's basically like a Wally West. He's just speedster. Although, you know, um, it'd be like you, you know, I like to think of you being kind of like Shazam or Wonder Woman. Right. Mostly, uh, and I'm always going to use DC as a context because I'm more familiar with DC than Marvel. Uh, and uh, he's more like the Flash. So, like, obviously, if you put them in a race, Flash is going to win, but it's not like you're slow. Right. So, um, let's see. You might be uh, one of the uh, people who can watch him actually move at full speed. <laughs> uh, Emma is definitely there. She's a big nerd about superheroes and villains and stuff. Um, Red Fox, like I said. A bunch of the nerds are there. Mostly asking if you guys encountered any, like, Asking who the supervillains were and did you encounter any superheroes? I don't um, remember if any of the city's heroes came after the reality wall was shattered or not. Uh, you did not. You had already left before any of them. If you, if they did, you guys had already left for the mall before they showed up. Oh, then they'll definitely say, "Oh yeah, we we took care of it before the rest of them showed up." They would. Definitely be patting the whole group on the back like that. And yeah, everyone's like, ah, uh, it's like everyone's like, ooh, yeah, ooh and, and on. And hmm. technically speaking, I technically speaking, none of these guys have influence over you. But um, if you will we'll give, uh, if you are willing, I will give you a potential. If you are, if you willingly give peer pressure influence over you and uh, and shift your superior up and uh, not your mundane down. I'm not trying to inflict a condition on you. Um, superior up, savior down. Okay, I will definitely take if that. You, it, all right, so I will add uh, peer good. pressure. All right, well, yeah, yeah, yep. So peer, but but you're also taking the you're taking peer pressure peer pressure as an influence. So I'm going to mark that on your sheet. Okay. So, so and then mark superior uh, up and save your down. So unless you want to resist. I don't see any reason to. All right, then superior one, savior two. Oh, I've already taken care of it. Uh, your savior was at three, and then should be at two. Oh, and yeah. I'm looking at your. It's superior one to zero. Yep. So, yeah, I'm looking at your. Uh... It, it tells me the sum of all the labels, and I know you haven't taken the increase yet. So. Well, let me check my increases, though, because I don't remember if I did take one that increased it or not. Uh, I don't think you've advanced it, I'll have you. I um, The only advance I've taken was uh, 
unlocking the remaining powers of my suite and taking a sanctuary. So okay, yeah. we have plus three labels. Yep. So there you go. Perfect. And let me I'm gonna quick do that. So um unlocking powers in suite and sanctuary. Cool, and you also did fill out the sanctuary. The, um you didn't fill out the conditions though. Oh. Uh oh no, I I tell you that one. It's my when we when you go to it. Yes. I didn't I wasn't looking. All right. I see the check boxes. I'm like, oh, you haven't checked those yet. No, never mind. Yeah, that's only uh, upon the resources. All right, makes sense. So, but cool. Um, but I imagine so, the relics are kind of like what you have in Batman's cave of the giant penny that Two Face flipped him on and tried to kill him, and the giant robot dinosaur and all that shit. He's got souvenirs from various paladins fighting other supervillains. Makes sense, but yeah. So. Cool. So, you've accepted groupthink as a influence. You've accepted peer pressure as an influence. Uh, and also, I will let everyone else know that if anyone else wants to take potential, uh, a one potential for free, uh, and mark that they're influenced by peer pressure, then I will give that to everybody now, because technically, you don't have to be influenced by it. Oh God. Do I do I want peer pressure or not? Ah, oh, this is the Madeline decision right here. Am I above it? I love potential, but at the same time, I'm playing the, the emo loner. So no, I still. I will. So, what do you guys think? Path. You think Madeline's above peer pressure? Aren't uh... you like a social media guru? I totally lost you at some point. I don't know. When I look at Madeline, I think of someone whose superior stat should be like locked at plus three. You're right. I'm above this. <coughs> I don't need your peer pressure. I know so, I'm better than you. <laughs> all right. So I already give uh so so that's fine. Like I said, that's why I was raving a carrot just because that way because I you know. Uh, it it's a fair exchange because I am breaking the rules, kind of, kind of. Equal opportunity rule breaking. Yep. So anyway, so yes, is the as everyone just call everyone is basically fawning over pat you and basically wanting to be your friend because you actually fought super villains. As it should be. <laughs> <laughs> and um, own that label, right? <laughs> Uh, and then you hear somebody in the cafeteria saying, sort of, must have been pretty shitty supervillains then if they, uh, well, if, the, I mean, you talk a big game, but, uh, they escaped, didn't they? Uh, and, uh, it's this person. And his, uh, and some of the other bullies, Blade Storm, Rust, uh, Blades, but he's the one who's speaking up. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could have killed them to prevent them from escaping, but I'd rather not. I'm not a psychopath yeah. like certain other people in the room. And he's and... gonna... He's gonna say... Uh, and he's just gonna say, well, you didn't catch him either, so didn't, so didn't they win? And so on. I don't know why, I don't know why anybody's giving you, like, thinking, uh, you're all hot, hot shit. When uh, they they got away, when the villain gets away, that's a win. They're on camera. They'll be caught. Also, we got two of them. You got one, one of, of them, them being the leader. Uh, no, didn't Resource Code escape? Uh, I thought no, we no, Source just code. barely managed to get. Uh, source code and uh, the troll. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah no. he told uh, people to escape, and then he derided them for them escaping. Some of them did get uh, away. Yes, two of the. Okay, I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the bank sheet now, and yes, you did get source code. Because I did. Yeah, I did yeah. mark. I did mark uh, who did who didn't did not get away. So. 
Sorry, I just didn't remember. All right, now rub it in his face, Paladin. Well, we did catch a reality warper. Uh, in jail. uh, and he'll just say he'll just sort of kind of get right in the face at that. Um, I dare you to try to catch uh, RK. As as he's just be like, because I don't know, of course, that he's got the inhibitor collar on now, which would make him easier to catch. <laughs> And he's like, fine, I'll take that bet. And he's just going to storm off. Come on. Oh. Uh, he... So. <laughs> uh, and he's just going to like, he's just going to storm off and he's going to say, and uh, come on, Rust. Come on, Rusty. Uh, Let's go get the boys and uh, let's just, sh- let's, uh, Let's show this uh let's show this hero uh that you know he's not that uh, he's not as good as he thinks. And uh R- Rusty and Spike are going to follow him. All right. Um just to get to fight that I have basically technically nothing to do with. <laughs> I'm sure that's how people will see it. <laughs> Except all the witnesses who heard me instigated. Yeah, that's so, fair. That's great. <laughs> Somewhere in the background, someone's just going, fight, 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 fight. Yeah, it's a scene from Spider-Man, right? <laughs> Once people start chanting fight, you can't resist that. Again. And by peer pressure now. Madeline, social media guru. <laughs> Take the pictures. Uh, well, um, speaking of Madeline, hi. Uh, actually, well, I guess let me just ask if there's anything you else you wanted to do, uh, uh, Paladin, before we move scenes. Well, he's got to kind of repolish his reputation among those swarming around him, so it'll just kind of do the social upkeep thing. All right. Just wanted to make sure. Um. All right. So as you're as you're maintaining your as you're enjoying your newfound probably temporary popularity. <laughs> uh, probably. Who knows? It's high school, so temporary is always a fleeting thing. Um. Um, what what would Madeline be up to? Um, I'd like to assume that it's been, like, a little bit of time, and at least, like, the word of, like, uh, Arche getting collared has been, like, uh, spread around a little bit. Uh, um, I mean... I just want to act on that oh, information. Oh, 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 actually, wait, 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 um, uh... I was like, I know there's, uh, there's, there's school. Yes, there's a move. There's a move for this. Ooh. Um, uh, I was like, I knew there was a move for this. Gotham on green. But you put Gotham. your ear out for. Roll it, name it, um, and roll <laughs> plus mundane. Oh boy, I can fail this real easily. Let's do it. So do it. So let's see if I happen to hear the rumor first, because then I won't be able to act on it. Oh, I actually roll really well. Oh, you're all the on a hand. Oh. I share the juiciest rumor. So, um, so, but you may not ask a follow up because you didn't roll a ten plus. That's fine. But uh, yeah, you do hear the rumor, a rumor going around school <laughs> that RK went immediately to the principal's office, and uh, uh, the rumor around the school is that he, like, he was collared. Which generally means really something bad happened, but he nobody knows why he was collared or what he did. That's fine. That's all the information I think I need, because I'm going to act on it. I'm going to go to the Occult Club, and I'm going to meet with uh, one of the members, Alexander uh, Oikos. Oikos? Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Uh, Alexander will... You'll find Alexander... 
Uh, you know, Alexander will say, uh, Madeline. He's just uh, like looking around. Alexander. Uh, uh, fan. Uh, not this is unusual. Normally, aren't you hanging around with the the coven? Uh, that's true. Normally, I would be, but there is something maybe I want to talk with you today. Did I just disconnect. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, you've been going uh really oh? roboty, and I think uh, oh. I think our other twos are actually frozen too. All right, uh, let me uh. Who's frozen? Uh, you were. And oh. so is uh, mm. Ark Lloyd. I was actually sitting really still. Oh, Ark's not frozen either. He's moving. Oh, cool. Uh, I was just you guys really are alive, still. Then. All right. So we had a te- temporary blip then. Uh, let's continue. Uh, yes. Normally I. All right. Okay. So. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, I guess the moment you left off was like normally you're hanging out with the coven, right? Yep. That was the last thing I said. Okay. Usually, yes, I enjoy hanging out with a few of them, but uh, I have a few things I maybe want to talk with you today. And he's like, uh, okay, I'm... I'll see what I'll yeah. If you need anything, um, uh, I'm not yeah. Uh, okay. I'm sure you would know of another one of my friends, RK, right? He's, I mean, isn't he the one that? Is always floating. That would be correct. Uh, perhaps a waste of his cosmic power, but if that's what he wants to do, I'm concerned about him. We just came back from our uh, our test and had a little bit of trouble. I know. I heard and... you fought villains. Yes. I would say he was absolutely instrumental in that. However, despite his own bravery, he's been collared by the school. I don't imagine this is going to play out well for his ego. I was hoping maybe as a friend, you could go and speak to him God to God for a little bit. And he's be like, I I don't really know him that well. I'll be honest, I don't think anyone does. But I think if anyone has a chance of talking to him as a peer or gathering his interest, you might be just the sort of person. And it helps that to boot you. I hear you have the divine wisdom to back that up. Maybe you can teach him a few lessons. He sort of he says, uh, I can, uh, I guess I can try. I'd appreciate it. If there's anything I could do for you in return as well, I'm, you know, I hang around here. As he's gonna, he's gonna think about it for a second and, um, all right. We had a freezing moment, it seems. Sorry, it sounded like you were pausing to think about something, so I was like, quick, I can rejoin the call. <laughs> <laughs> well, any, anytime you pause, any, uh, you know, I'll still hear mm-hmm. the Discord noise. I mean, I was like, oh, oh, I have oh, those turned be... off. I don't bother oh, with that I shit don't... at all. I right. do, uh, so he's thinking uh, about this. Yes, and uh, I'm just trying to think of who, what, yeah, I'll think about it. Um, as I, and he'll just say, "I'll I'll get back to you," but I, I'll I'll talk to him, see if uh, if that'll help. Thank you, Alexander. I appreciate it. We should hang out a little bit more sometime. I sure I agree. I can. I think that will be. Uh, I will very much appreciate that. All right, Madeline will nod and. Uh... 
At least given that tidbit, I'll let him go about this, since he seems to have agreed, or at least thought about it. Uh, and I'll spend the rest of the time hanging out with the coven for the day. Ah. Uh, all right. Um. Well, speaking of the coven. Oh. Boy. Uh. Yes. Um. Abigail will, you know, and the rest of the coven will sort of get around, you know, huddle around you and say, uh. <clears throat> Is it true? Did you fight supervillains? It is. Would you like to see it in HD? And she's... Uh, Abigail is like, uh... I don't... That, that is, uh... Appreciated, but not required. <laughs> I'm just curious, uh... What were they like? Uh, a few of them were just, uh... Dumb brutes. No real plan of their own, just sort of doing their own thing. But the... There was one that was very strange and interesting. The, uh... What was their name? Binary. Was that it? Source code. Source, Source code. code, yeah. Source, Source code, code is non-binary. Yes, there we go. I remember that first. I was like, oh, the name's also binary. Uh, Source code. I'm honestly rather surprised at some of the things that they managed to pull off. And the nature of it, too. It was a strange mix of magic, technology, reality warping, sort of all at once. Fascinating, really. Sounds It sounds like it. Um, but I have a question. As, uh, mm -hmm. as she's going to, you know, Move her har arms around in sort of a semicircle, and like, ev like all the other common members, yourself included, will sort of glow slightly. Ooh. You know, your mag your magical aura will sort of be visible. A very basic spell that you know you could do with your eyes closed. Okay. Um, it's like according to my according to the spell. Uh, it seems like your aura has changed slightly. Did you encounter any other magics besides source codes while you were out and about? Besides source codes? Well, there was one. This strange fellow, one of the brutes, touched me uh, for a moment. Uh, that, I was mostly talking about you meeting with Miss Magic after. The... Oh, Miss Magic. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Getting Should... touched by everyone out here. Yeah, I know. All right. So I'll, 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 I'll hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on a second. Okay. Holden. Oh. Uh, I mean, it hasn't been hold well for uh, for Raz, is it? The woman you love is being touched by everyone. <laughs> Can you slap base? To them, to the point where other people notice. This is me trying to also fill in dead air. I know. You gotta, gotta play ball with me on this. Well, you're doing such a good job on your own. Well, I stopped so... talking and I saw some of you put your microphones up. <laughs> so, Paladin, question. Uh, what are you gonna do to prepare for your fight? You're clearly gonna get tag teamed here. Hmm. I don't know. He's gonna be fighting a... Uh... Magneticist who might be able to control his armor, so you might just have to uh, resort to fisticuffs. And his friends. Are you going to bring in like your... the Hema Club? Just use your one-hit kill sword. Oh, are you going to get tag teamed? I was worried you sent your guys on me for some reason. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought was happening. But <laughs> hey, if they want to go after Paladin as well, that's fine by me. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm your uh, I'm your antagonist right now, Theta. So I I'm sending you a challenge: social interaction. The one well, thing you can't handle. I mean, to my understanding, of the situation is that I'm about to get beat up by two people, and now I'm also going to get talked to after it. You're also going to get a sermon. Yes, <laughs> all part of the dastardly plan. Yeah, and then I got to talk to a dog or a therapist 
and then see a doctor <laughs> about my brain issues. You got a busy schedule. Apparently. But yeah, I was just like scrolling through the occult club and I'm just like, well, who do we got here? It's like, wait, we just have a god sitting around. Hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Again, can you call yourself a god if you respond to a question with I don't know blank? I mean, Zeus didn't know how to keep it in his pants, so I'd say yes. No. Well, then Zeus wasn't a god. And Yahweh didn't know where Adam was in the Garden of Eden or that he had eaten the fruit. Until no, he, he did. He knew. <laughs> Why ask? Was he just being a smartass? No, it's to cause guilt. You remember, uh, Yahweh was the Jewish version of the God. You know, you, you hen your children. You ask them questions that they know the answers to, so they'll feel bad for doing the things that they've done. But it was actually the Tree of Knowledge, so... We could probably get all up into Christian mythology here for, like, hours at a time, I think. Look, one of us is playing a God. The other yeah. of us is playing the Disciple of a God. I think we'll take side with the person playing a guy. <laughs> but, but I wonder how RK will actually act talking to another god. Probably the way I'm acting right now. If you have yeah, to say, I don't uh, know, then you're not omniscient, and that means that you're not a god. Uh, om omniscience isn't the only power gods can have. Yeah, but it's the power that god has. This one actually might be, now that I think about it. No, he's clearly omnipotent if he's following any of the godhood he's rules. He's got like this divine wisdom stuff to it, and he's uh, cosplaying as the head god of an entire pantheon with those powers. Weak Probably pantheon, the best then. you're gonna get, honestly. Right, but I wasn't leading on find another god to talk to. Right, this is my, this is my power play. I'm seeing how it plays out. This is your power play. Where are you getting power from this? Uh, because I am influencing RK. From a distance. Okay, Einstein. <laughs> 300 hey, IQ. Hey, you chose me as your antagonist. This is what you get. <laughs> I didn't choose... I chose you as a... You mean a rival? Rival, yeah. You know that just means I get uh, bonuses for talking to you, right? <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally, I've made no moves against you. I know, I know. Uh, th this is just me having fun with the role. I still think it'd be real funny if did the uh, the joined and uh, took the additional bull's heart. I have two bull's hearts. I'm like the doctor. <laughs> so now I it's love Raz and I love you because you lo Raz loves you, but you're also my rival. Uh, it's so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, have and you seen Perfect Blue? The transformed. Is that the plan? <laughs> I, mean, I didn't pick it. I picked the delinquent one, where I get the bonus to uh, reject influence. Yeah, you, you're totally the delinquent here. I like it. Delinquent god. Oh, what was that? It's literally, I got the clip on my YouTube. God, I gotta find that again. Problem is that my unlisted videos, I don't name. Mm-hmm. could at least leave a note on them. That doesn't help. I just also don't remember how long ago this was. Yeah, I guess thinking... There we go. Yato. I named it Yato. I guess Alexander will go to you, you'll wave him off, and you'll go, who sent you? And he'll teleport straight to Madeline. The Joint is such an interesting playbook. It's so weird. What does it actually do? You basically pseudo copy another player character's uh book and find a way to make it like your own identity. Okay. Let's take a look at this video. <clears throat> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I can see RK expiring to this. Well, it's just, uh, he's like a low tier god, and he's just having delusions of grandeur, that's all. So that's him describing himself to somebody while he's sitting on a couch, choking you know, on his own spit. We joked about it, but have you considered Rising Star? No. 
Okay, so you'd like to not actually be popular. No. You just like your delusions. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not a delusion that RK actually has. It's just I thought it was funny. And I liked it enough long that five years ago I clipped this. So. Mm hmm Good doggy. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. I think it's because typically when I play a character, it's the delusion that all my characters have. Is that not only will we be a god, we'll be the highest god. And everyone will love us. <laughs> and then it comes crashing back to the ground. Yeah. So we got you aspiring to be a god. What what's Raz's aspirations or goals right now? What's she actually after? She literally wants to be a hero because it's fun to fight things. Yeah. The one punch man. She she's just after she's been here like, for fun. immediate personal satisfaction. She has no game plan here. She really doesn't have the brain to have a plan. <laughs> she she does what feels good in the moment. What what Raz needs, I think, then is like a hook or a mentor or something, right? Someone who uh she can like start being molded around. More so or like less. someone who also probably has like a similar personality, but has like an end goal to their actions in some way beyond just like, yeah, this is a great time to exercise. So <laughs> uh, I mean, that might also be it too. <laughs> Raz, physical fitness star. She was always designed to be simple. I intend to complicate her quite a bit uh, once I have a couple more advancements, but mm -hmm. until then, we'll see what happens. Could take the right. join to have the other half be the legacy. Be pal ha part of a force my way into Paladin's legacy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's more than one way to get into that legacy. Yeah, sure. I mean, well, Paladin's legacy is divine inspired, right? So. What happens if a god chooses to join your legacy? You kind of go like, oh, I can't deny them. They're, they're divine as well. All you gotta do is change your love to, love to Paladin, mm -hmm, and then have mm -hmm. RK convert to Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> Where did my cap go? I keep losing all these bottle caps. And, you know, I always find them, so it's not even like there's another one laying around I can replace it with. If, if I well, lose a bottle money cap, before they make it. If I lose a bottle cap, I'm in full panic mode. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I have an open trick, it's on my desk. I'm gonna spill it! <laughs> yeah, I know, it's gonna happen. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna lean back, back kick my leg up, and it's like, oh, whoops, drink went everywhere. That's oh, what, what I a klutz. I bump my desk all the time. Hmm. So what else is on your mind then, Theta? Well, I, I mean, for bottle caps. <laughs> other thing that I was looking at was Nomad stuff, oh, but the me. stuff from Nomad that I'd want is not part of the stuff you can take. Not a move. Mm -hmm. Nomad has putting down roots. Uh, adults do not have influence over you by default. No one does. Would be the one that I would want from Nomad, but you can't get that. Yeah. It's not a move. It's a, just an aspect. I think, Shay, you recommended, like, Brain for Madeline, and that seems, like, perfect, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, there was I might start dipping into that the next time I get stuff, but I'm on, like, zero right now, because, so I get some time. Because Madeline is literally a Brain character using the Scion playbook. Yeah. So I need a high savior, I need a high danger, then I need a high superior, and if I picked up Mask from, like, the same playbook, I need a high mundane. <laughs> And and honestly, if you get enough advancements, you can literally just change the playbook later if that suits you. Honestly, it depends being on the Scion the... is the overachiever playbook because there's yeah. six different points where I can get an additional plus one to my labels. Yeah. I could overachieve very greatly and have absolutely nothing negative and have like multiple <laughs> threes. At which point yeah. every time someone tries to influence me, it's like I wanna shift this up to like nope, too late. Okay, I'm just I, gonna uh, crash under the pressure. I am so sorry about that. It's all it's cool. cool. I think that bottle cap is irredeemably lost. I'm gonna just uh, uh, live dangerously. You know, I, That's what you're gonna do. I've been. I just. I definitely don't want my uh, little nephews to appear on stream, so I have <laughs> to scramble to get them off of out of my nah, room before. I feel 
So all right, no more water to worry about. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I guess right, we're just so waiting yeah. for your camera to pop in, but uh, I think the last thing you mentioned was the Coven was asking me questions. Yes, the Coven was asking you questions specifically about the other magical presence they felt in your magical aura. Oh, right. I almost forgot. It was such a small thing. After we fought the first pack of supervillains, I went out and I fought another one. Just out on the street. It was a strange magical artifact that seemed to cause uh, a berserk frenzy in others. Oh, and I guess Miss Magic was also there. The other members of the... <laughs> yes. The the other members of the coven, like, kind of... It, it, you know, you're, you're socially perceptive enough to notice that when you mention the magical artifact, they all sort of uh, chitter uh, and look interested. Um, but when you mention Miss Magic... Uh, everyone except for uh, Abigail, who looks disinterested, mm -hmm. um, pipes up. Uh, still is interested. Yeah, they they still look interested because uh, mm -hmm. I mean it's Bissachik. It's the most powerful magic user in the city and yeah, in the world. No. <clears throat> yeah, and she's like interesting, and you didn't tell her that we borrowed some of her unicorn horn from a storehouse, did you? And everyone sort of... When, 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 when Abigail says that, everyone's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, and I'll just go, of course not, I'm not a fool. You don't go around telling people about your crimes. And she's like, well, let me remind you that uh, that was your idea to start out with. Oh, of uh, course. Don't you worry your little head about it. I plan on taking full responsibility for anything that comes down the line, but I know there's nothing coming. And she's, and she's gonna be like, and she's she, she's kind of <laughs> gonna glare at you when you say that. And it's like, eh, I, I guess and she's like, you sort of seem confident about that. I am. I'm so confident. I even have her number now. And she's... Uh... <laughs> Just flaunting <laughs> in front of them. As, uh... Like, uh, some of the... Uh, let's see, I'm looking at the other members of the coven that I have, uh... Um... Oh, perfect. Uh, Ursula, when you say that, Urs like Ursula and the others sort of like push, almost push Abigail aside, but Ursula in particular. Uh, and she, um, uh, she, she just she opens her mouth and like some like uh. Like a a gasp, um, escapes her mouth, and uh, and then she's just going to uh start signing at you. I don't know. It's up to you whether or not your character understands sign language. Um, uh, I'm going to say uh my technologically superior side will automatically translate it. That's fair enough. Um. Uh, she'll start signing that, you know, do you really have her her number? And Madeline will just give her a like, nice little nod. As, uh, you see Abigail is looking pretty peeved the longer you keep talking. Yeah, the, the uh, more I'm drawing attention away from her. Yeah. Um, she should just take the victory that I called her pretty and <laughs> leave with that. <laughs> yeah, that's not enough for her. Um, and she's gonna be like, D -d -d and she's just gonna, you know, she'll look really excited, and then like the hat will start talking. It's like, all right, all right, you know, we really have to you, talk about 
Uh, it's not like she would. It's not like you know. It's not like uh, Miss Magic would come here to see any of us. And and uh, Ursula's just gonna, you know, kind of look up at the hat and then kind of look like look kind of sad and then like sort of droop down. Aww. She might. I might have a few sure. chances to talk with her in the future. But, Ursula will uh, perk up again. I could mention a few names, but uh, I suppose we'll just have to see how that goes. And she's just like, going to give a friendly smile to Ursula. Ur- Ursula will like clap your, her hands around uh, your hands when you say that. She'll like look to you like with like big puppy dog eyes. Yeah, she's being adorable here. I can't resist this. Uh, as the hat, you know, the hat will say, "Just yeah, thank." She'll he'll she'll he'll sort of whisper to you. It was like, "Thanks for you know, thanks for making her feel better." And I'll just whisper back to the hat, like, "Anytime." As she's, <laughs> as he's just gonna wink its one eye at you. As it's gonna. It's gonna flash slightly, and then at, and then Ursula will 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 let go, and mm-hmm. will sort of shrink back. Okay. As uh, I guess the question is: Is Abigail going to go ahead and uh, press further issues, or are we going to like just dip into normal magical fun for the day? Uh, Ab- uh, the other members of the coven uh will uh. Uh, will just sort of keep. They will start. They will continue to press you about the events. Mm-hmm. Uh, a- Abigail in particular will press you about uh the magical artifact. Like give you know give any juicy details. Yeah, of course, and I'll sort of explain like anything it touches, it seems to take control over. So you know that's fun. Uh, I'm not yes. really gonna hold much back. You know, I'm ha- I'm talking with a bunch of friends. They get all the juicy details. Yes, and uh, um, uh, and once and yeah, well, after 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 thorough thorough grilling, quote unquote, mm-hmm. uh, they will um, the thing will go back to you know, it just as it seems like you'll go back to your normal magical uh shenanigans. Shenanigans. The you know, the door. You know, uh, more members of the occult club uh, and uh, some other students, sort of not in the occult club, will sort of start gathering around. Like uh, mm-hmm. Dulcia will will come and hang out after hearing that you took out Balance, and then once, you know, once she comes in, and then you know, more people will show up, and suddenly, you know, uh, some of the popular girls will, you know, suddenly, suddenly a whole a bunch of the girls. <laughs> Suddenly, a crowd of villains wanted to hear the story about you taking taking out super villains, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, and then and as as the crowd continually grows, you'll hear. Uh, well, it's it just seems as if you took out some minor villains. Well, uh, the other you know, while all of you were busy pulling around in your you know petty studies, I was taking out. You know, I take out supervillains. You know, I fight supervillains on a daily basis. I don't see what the, the fuss is about. Oh, is this Magus? This is Magus. Yeah, Magus Everard. Uh, so I'll just sort of shrug and go, "Well, we can't all be as lucky as you to have a day job." As uh, he's just going to <laughs> glare at you, he's like, "Well, that well the the uh." Um. Sorry, I'm just, I'm looking up the I'm I'm looking up the name of the the, the MacGuffin just so that I can be accurate. The Agate Staff. Uh, the Agate, yeah, the Agate Staff. Well, only agate. Eh, no, no, you might be right. Yeah. The the Agate Staff uh only chooses one Sorcerer Supreme, or the mag uh one Magus to protect the world from magical threats. Uh, we can't all be me. It's true. One can only aspire to the heights that you do, where you 
what was that? Just sit around the cafeteria for a few hours at a time. At this point, I think Madeline has built up enough confidence to start throwing shade. As he's just going to, uh, and, you know, if, if, if this turns into a, like, magical dick measuring contest, he'll probably end up winning, but most, everyone oh, no. kind of... I'm definitely going to keep it to words only. <laughs> and, a, 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 everyone will, uh, you get the idea that even though he like will, will will regale everybody about his tale about taking out the um uh I'm trying to think, looking I'm just looking through the book for a good magical another magical threat. There's, it, there's... He doesn't even have to specify a name. Yeah, but you know, uh, as he's taking you know as he's you know the, as he's regaling everybody about a tale his most recent escapade taking out a super uh, a very threatening magical supervillain. Everyone kind of looks bored. It's like, and then it's like, yeah, yeah, we know, Everett, you take out supervillains on a daily basis. You're, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We've heard this before. Or this isn't new. This isn't new. <laughs> uh, and then they go back to paying attention to you. And that yeah, seems to burn his biscuit. That seems to burn well, his biscuit. Fuel me with your rage. <laughs> Uh, and you d- and you didn't take uh, uh, peer pressure, and so he can't he can't it try and provoke you into a magical dick measuring contest, which is something he knows he'll win. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> so he <laughs> he could still provoke me himself if he wants to, but that's a risk to himself, isn't it? Uh, well, I can't I can't roll stats like that. So oh, right, right. I we roll stats and we do it defensively. Yeah, I. Yeah, I keep forgetting that every now and then. <laughs> yep. So, nope. If he had influence over you, then he could use that to goad you into doing what he wants. But he, you didn't take, you didn't take the carrot. So I can't. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess you could always say like he tries to get influence over me by starting this competition or something. I'm not sure exactly how you want that to work. Uh, maybe we do start you... a bit of a rivalry here. Uh, why don't you? Well, um. Uh, roll resist influence. He will see if he can gain influence by basically goading you into, goading you into, you know, goading you, you into it. Um, this is a hit under deck. All right. So then, um, you can, uh, so I can choose one. Um, so I will choose. Do I want the carrot or the stick? Uh. Oh. My stream crashed, though. I can't easily check. It's like you're, the overlay is really, really helpful for me keeping track of uh, conditions, so that I don't oh, have yeah. to. But my but my stream crashed when. Uh, mm-hmm. So I have to refresh the stream, and every time I have to refresh the stream, I have to watch an ad. It was like, ugh. Well, for what it's worth, Madeline doesn't have any conditions. Yeah, I've perfect. been condition free oh. the whole game so far. Oh, Let's do okay, it. perfect. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh. <clears throat> So the um, so I will choose stick with this one. So if you take if you give him influence over you, uh, then nothing happens. If you choose to not give him influence over you, you get to, you have to mark uh, you have to mark angry. I'm going to choose to let him. I right. I care. So All he right. now so you has g- influence over me. Yep, but since he since he's trying to get influence over you, you still don't have to take the dick measuring contest right now. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, we we've built up enough animosity that now I am concerned about him. Yep. As uh, yeah, as yep. Yeah. And Son uh, eventually, <laughs> as uh, everybody just eventually will um. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, eventually the crowd will disperse as it gets closer and closer to lights out. Uh, and then, but before you guys head off to your dorms, uh, Abigail will pull you aside and say, uh, and, and, and pull you aside to speak privately, and she'll say, mm-hmm. all right, um, why would you go and seek out Miss Magic of all people, like 
seems like you did that, you know, you're just trying to prove that you're better than everyone, or what? Well, yes, and I've been interested in her for a while. I have a large library of books. I didn't just happen upon how to sneak into her portal network. I've had it for a while. And quite a number of other notes on her. She's fascinating, at the least. I I wanted to know more. I wanted to see her. And I suppose it just so happened she was busy at the time. I guess she should be. Uh, she's like, all right, well. Yeah, she's trying to suss something out here, so let's see what she says yeah. next. Yeah, she's just like, hmm, just sort of lucky. It's like, well, just, you know, if you want to continue to hang out with, you know, and hang out with uh, us and, you know, then just. Be careful what you say to her, because, you know, she doesn't particularly trust the uh, the professor, and I don't particularly, you know, and she's just, you know, and, you know, our coven is dedicated to the founder of the school, Sister Salem, and uh, those two are known to have clashed on occasion before Sister Salem disappeared. I don't think it'll be a problem. And besides, at least between you and I, we have fish that we need to fry together. Just see a star still needs to be taken down. I'm not going to just give up on that. Oh. So who, who again? Sorry, I missed... Uh, uh, the, the mean girl that we both agreed we need to take down a peg. Oh yeah, Chelsea. The leader of the mean girls. Yeah, right. And she'll just sort of... She'll just sort of, uh, you know, weave her hands together and it's like... Ah yes, you are still on. Uh, you, I'm glad you you remember. Uh, perhaps your newfound popularity will be useful in that. And uh, there's gonna, you know, uh, there's gonna be an announce. I hear that. I heard from uh, a professor. I heard from the from the good from the the words. Apologies. Um, it's all good. I heard. I heard from uh, Doctor Jackal that there's going to be an announcement uh, tomorrow morning at uh, at a uh, prep rally, and uh, and then if it's what I think it is, then perhaps our plans can move forward. Oh, any idea what kind of announcement, or is it just going to be a surprise? Uh, well, it'll probably be the announcement of the. Uh, of the um of the silver ball or as of the masquerade ball at the end of uh next month. Oh, a dance. I um and Madeline will actually start to look a little nervous suddenly. Uh I don't know how to dance and um Ah, <laughs> uh, she she she's like that don't worry about that. Uh I we can whip up a dancing charm for you, no problem. Uh, assuming you're still willing to, uh, assuming, you know, uh, you're still willing to help us, right? You're help, help me. I think so. Yes. All for, gonna... all for dethroning Chelsea. As, uh, she'll just smirk and say, well then, uh, things, this will be, you know, she'll just sort of like, uh, Excellent. Uh, in her best Mr. Burns impression. Yes, very good, very good. <laughs> so, so our cackling into the night continues, and I think that's a good end scene moment. <laughs> yep. Uh... That's so basically what she was doing. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, um, so, uh, now it's the next day. Well, I should ask, is there anything that anybody wants to do, 
uh, before I roll to the next day. Plenty. But I, as a real-life person, I can wait. <laughs> uh... All right, then, um, at the next, during the next day, um, each of you will, uh, get a notification early in the morning, uh, to, um, go to the head, to go to the headmaster's office. Oh, geez, check him in, or not, well, wow, that's another character of mine, Raz may as well put a bed in there she's been there every day so far oh was this is all of us yes all of you i mean i okay. send the wrong signals right yeah <laughs> or I'm the very girl. right or the wrong coming no i oh. think that I mean that says up red flags to like child care professionals all over the world <laughs> <laughs> men's power so. no responsibility huh yeah <laughs> So the question is, uh, who uh, does everybody go? I mean, Raz would go. You know her; she's oh, well yeah. behaved. Uh, <laughs> she might show up a little bit late because she's not a not a morning person, but she'd be there. All right, R.K. Paladin. Of course. I don't know why I all wouldn't. Right. Uh, well, you have the just chance. yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, I make a break gotta, for yeah. it. I make this exact moment to make a break for it. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, gotta ask. Uh, I run to the science room. <laughs> right. Um. And uh, so yeah, uh, you guys all show up, and uh, there's again a couple more faculty. You know, there's uh, there's. Albinder and the vice principal, and and I uh, I haven't got um uh and a few members of uh law enforcement. Goodness. Oh, Paladin, uh, what did you do? You're yeah, under Paladin, arrest. what did you do? Oh, no. <laughs> Paladin. <clears throat> um. Wait, what did Paladin do? Yeah, seriously, what did Paladin do? Yes, tell us your uh, criminal backstory. <laughs> I'm a cop. Oh. Truly uh, terrible. I, I just uh, forgot to get pictures for some law enforcement, but it's not a big deal. Yeah. You uh, heard him, boys. Take him away. I'm just going uh, to picture three overweight dudes of various ethnicities with coffee and a donut. Yeah. Fair, fair point. Uh huh. I'm uh, I was looking through my old mass folder, seeing what kind of hero would there would also be a hero there. I just it probably would not be one of the exemplars. It's a little bit below their pay grade. Um, I just got to look through my old list of uh heroes and see who would show up for this. Uh, Paul Blart, uh, <laughs> William Shatner. <laughs> Can Paul Blart please be a canonical hero in uh, the city setting, please? Thank you. There you go. Found you uh, your perfect cop image. Ball part. Fair enough. Um, that looks better. This is Mike <laughs> Borowski. <laughs> uh, yes, they will. Uh, but yes, uh, a couple of detectives and at least one hero. Um, will you know? Uh, ask you all to sort of, you know, sit down and uh, he uh, Hell Hellbinder will say, uh. Sorry to pull you up, wake you up so early, but we wanted to get this done before the uh pep the pep rally uh this after this uh uh in a few out in a, a couple of hours. So uh do we just have a cup? You know, we just want to ask a couple of questions about the incident that happened, if you don't mind. It's already um... it's already. It's it's already buzzed. It's already the the buzz around the school. So, yes, we've already told everyone else about it. I suppose it's only fair we tell all of you. 